Wait, what? Yeah, yep, I don't even know what to say. That is absolutely insane. KTS, you're insane. You're a legend, but you are absolutely insane. And honestly, I just want to thank you, but also everyone. Like, it, it, I, it doesn't even compute that I get to sit here and yap about things I love and people enjoy it and will even donate money to help support me because of it. Like, insane. I truly do not take it for granted. It, like, it, I don't know what to say. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to try not to get too sappy here, but like truly the support, and I don't just mean monetary, but just in terms of being a part of this community, watching the videos, theorizing with me, it means more than you guys will know. And so just thank you. Thank you guys so much. And KTS, like what the hell, man? And you know what? No, I'm sorry, but no, it's just too much. It's too much. So I'm going to have to give some of it back to you guys. And the way I want to do that is to host a fan art competition in the community because we have so many freaking talented artists. It's ridiculous. It should be illegal. If you haven't checked out the art channel in the Discord, what are you doing? Get on that. But I still need to figure out the details and how that'll work and what exactly it'll entail. But fan art contest coming soon so get ready be prepared for that all right so enough stalling let's get to the actual request and kts wanted me to make a video about the lore of general chat from our discord server and some of you may have seen the previous video i did on this which i guess we're in a series now but i made a video about the lore of debate lords from the discord channel which is a channel all about debating jjk and that was a ton of fun but i did just want to get out in front and say this video will by necessity have to be a little bit different from that one because debate lords is much narrower of a focus and there are less like regulars to that channel so general is just like an entirely different beast right it's the most popular channel in the discord and there is no like niched focus of the channel so like the things that are talked about in there are literally as varied as you can get so what we're gonna do since we can't really break it down in eras or in terms of specific debates that happened uh, with the help of my mod team and specifically Cravey. Cravey, thank you so much. We put together a brief kind of history of the channel. So we're going to go over that. And then after that, I want to talk about just some general things about the Discord that have been so much fun. So let's get into it. So to kick things off, let's talk about the inception of the server. Back on February 2nd, I made this Discord server, not really knowing if I would use it or not. The channel was only a few months old at that point, and I didn't know if anyone would be interested in it. Then about a month later, I got this donation from JoJo that said, you should make a Discord. So the next day I said, you know what, let's kick this thing off live and see what happens. Okay, so where to begin? How about the beginning, right? When I first made this Discord, it was absolute chaos. It was the wild, wild west. Back then, I only had a handful of channels because I didn't know what I was doing. And guess what? I still don't know what I'm doing. But more importantly, I didn't have any mods because when I first made this channel, I didn't think anyone was going to join. Like maybe a couple people and quickly it became a couple hundred like right off the bat and things were just insanely chaotic. So I immediately just asked some people to be mod and did I know them? No, but you know, you just got to do what you got to do. So the early era of the Discord general chat was a bit crazy you know i love you guys but some of y'all need to go outside and touch grass so we had the pre-moderator era which was just you know let's call it chaos but it was kind of a fun chaos right but anyways after that after we get a few mods we get a few channels and conversations happening in the correct places then general chat kind of had its first era, if we can call it that. And this was the clan era. So people, and this was before we had like official clans with roles or anything. These are just self-designated clans where people would like change their name. So these clans range from anywhere from having JJK characters, like you can see here and like we have now, but also clans surrounding members themselves. And the one I specifically remember the most is the William clan. Clan. Not only because that's my name, but it had nothing 
nothing to do with me. It instead had to do with one of our members named William, who is now a mod. So, you know, I guess he consolidated a cult-like following and rose all the way to the top. Um, but this was a really fun era. People would also change their profile pictures to kind of go with whatever clan they were in. And this kind of evolved into a profile picture like lead clan where people would come up with an idea and then everybody would adjust their profile to go with that. And specifically, my moderator Cravey would lead a bunch of these movements. And the first such popular one was the Uwu clan, where people uwu their names and uwu their profile pictures. And I cannot believe I have now said uwu three times in the last 10 seconds. And as I'm sure you can imagine, a lot of people didn't really vibe with the uwu clan. So hilariously, they decided to transition to the emo clan since no one understood them. And actually, thanks to our illustrious lore keeper, we actually have a handful of these emo-ified profile pictures from back in the day. So those of you that are familiar with the Discord or around back then, can you name who each of these 12 are? All of this basically led to people wanting official clans that came with roles in the Discord and special little icons next to your name. And by the way, I hope you guys have had fun trying to find me in all of these images. But as I learned how to not be a complete boomer with Discord, mostly thanks to the mod team, we did finally officially add character clans from JJK. And the way we picked which characters would be available was we put together a massive survey of the server and everyone voted for their top three favorite characters. Then we chose, I think it was the top 20 results from that survey. And since we've continued to add more and more, and actually I'm looking to add even more right now. So if you're in the discord and there's a character that isn't a clan yet, and you want one, let me know down below. Now, just because we did add the official Discord clans doesn't mean the old style of clans disappeared. And in fact, a lot of people to this day will have specific clans in their names still. But one of the other profile picture clans that sprung up was the Flower Clan. And as you can see, I myself was a member of this one. It basically just entailed adding flowers to your profile picture. So there's like so many different examples of fun little trends like this that have happened all throughout general. And then of course, when speaking about clans, I have to mention the higher ups. This is one of the more recent unofficial clans on the server, and it's for people that are a little bit older than the average member in the server. So some call us fossils, we are more susceptible to brain rot, but you know what? We enjoy each other's company. Now chapter two has to be all about our leveling system and the different roles you can get by leveling up. Again, I don't know what I'm doing, so we didn't even have an XP system for a while, but eventually, thanks to the mod's help, I got this figured out and we implemented one. And what you're looking at here right now is as it stands today. But when I first made it, you know, I picked the colors and we just had grade one, two, three, four, and we didn't have semi-grades yet. And let's just say that there was some uproar due to the colors I picked. Depending on if that color was close to any bodily fluid, that's what that role then became. So people were complaining about this and I said, you know what, I might just make every role brown. And so that just became a thing. And now people clamor, they beg, they dream of the illustrious brown role and when they will get it. And maybe one day, but not now. Now, chapter three of this lore document is just titled with a banned person's name, and I'm not going to give them that clout, so we're just going to call them D, but this is not the same D from the Debate Lords video, just FYI, and I'm just going to read verbatim what Cravey wrote here. The next hunk of server history is the story of one of the most infamous members ever to exist within the server, D. First joining the server on March 2nd, D was infamous for his random blurts of brain rot and insane quotes. He was subject to much ridicule due to this, and people usually dreaded to think of what would come out of his mouth next, going so far as to fully avoid him in voice chat and in text channels. One of the first of his notable moments was when he impersonated the character Makima from Chainsaw Man and proceeded to roleplay as her in general chat before leading to getting muted. Another instance of out-of-pocket behavior being the time when he very diligently defended Mei Mei's actions turned towards Ui Ui, of which he later claimed was a joke. He remained on the server for multiple months until he finally broke one too many rules and was permanently banned from the server. And I only vaguely remember this guy, which is kind of bad because I feel like 
about three dozen people kind of fit this same MO. But you know what? When you've got this many people on a server, you are going to have just the pinnacles of brain rot. And you know what, D? If you're watching this, if you're still out there, then I hope you stop cheating on your girlfriends. All right, chapter four of the lore is simply titled Lemon and Cravy in reference to two of our members, Lemon and Cravy, and both of them actually happen to be mods now. But this is in reference to one of the longer running memes in general chat, and that is that Lemon and Cravy are actually the same person, or at least twins or something like that. And that's because they both had similar profile pics for an extended period of time, and they both acted very similarly. Their most commonly used word being, huh. And of course, I've brought receipts. So as you can see here, Lemon has a respectable nearly 1,800 huhs, but that's not quite enough to take the crown because as you can see, Cravey has 2,300. So shout out to my most confused mods. Now moving on to chapter five of the lore, we have to mention the debate lords versus general chat war. As the two most popular and active channels in the Discord, there of course is going to be a little bit of a rivalry, a little bit of animosity, and this really hit ahead back in May when things just really became hostile a little bit between the main members of each channel. Now, if you saw my Debate Lords lore video, then you know things got a little bit rowdy in Debate Lords, and we actually had to crack down on the rules a few times. This, of course, didn't make them happy and they lashed out at general saying hey you know what they're just as bad and actually that's where the worst stuff ends up happening so things escalate they go back and forth again it's all friendly at the end of the day but there's definitely a rivalry there but eventually the crowd started mingling we had some generalites head on over to debate lords and partake and including some of the mods that most frequently um, were normally in general started going over into debate lords and we had debate lords come mingle over in general chat so these days things have kind of petered out and we are currently in an era of peace Pardon this interruption, but wanted to give you a quick behind the scenes update that's just kind of funny. You gotta laugh as to not cry, but I lost three hours worth of my work on this video, and as such, I had to stop working on it and start working on JJK 264 leaks, which started to happen. So unfortunately, I didn't get to finish the video since I lost all my progress, which means I had to keep these bandages on my face for all of my Leaks Night content and a video even after Leaks talking about the chapter. So I have gotten so many messages on these videos being like, bro, are you okay? What's wrong? Bro got jumped by Sukuna. So this just feels like a really funny part to include in the lore in and of itself. Uh, the server kind of indirectly made a lot of people worry about my health. So just thought that was funny and uh, yeah, wanted to update you guys. But now to continue redoing all of this video that I lost. Anyways, back to your regularly scheduled programming. This brings us to chapter six of the lore, Lobotomy Kaisen. Now, Lobotomy Kaisen is a separate channel in the Discord, but it needs mentioning here in the general lore because Lobotomy Kaisen had the birth of our very first server copy pasta, which is now quite frequently used in general. So a brief history of kind of what happened here is that Lobotomy Kaisen, as I'm sure you can guess, is a channel for brain rot, for JJK memes and all that stuff. We tried to keep it sanctioned to that channel. And basically where there's brain rot, there's going to be problematic things. And so we had to kind of, you know, bolst down on, bolst, is that a word? Bolter? I don't know what I'm looking for. We had to kind of make sure things were cool in Lobotomy Kaisen by being stricter with the mod rules. This included enforcing a slow mode on the channel, which got some people upset, which again gave birth to this very first copy pasta. Now, unfortunately, the original message, which was sent unironically, has been lost to time. It was deleted. But we do have the message of Wavy officially deeming it a copy pasta. So now I present to you a dramatic reading. Bro, who TF are you? Wanna be ass mod? All the mods in this server whack! Putting a three hour slow mode on this channel. I'm coming for hella heads. Don't let my red dot cross anyone's domicile. Now, how do you transition from absolute brain rot 
Well, the best way is to transition to something that actually deserves mentioning. So that brings us to Chapter 7, KTS. And that name might sound familiar because he's the one who donated for this video. But that actually has nothing to do with why he's being mentioned in the server lore. Because he is not just generous with me, but actually the entire server. KTS joined in early May and he has since made a huge impact. This man is so insanely generous, it's crazy. By my last count, he has gifted Nitro to over 50 people in the server, and that includes several annual subscriptions. The man is an absolute mad lad, so we gotta watch out for his wallet, we might need to take his credit cards, but KTS, you're a legend, man. And that brings us to the next and final chapter, which is entirely dedicated to me and Crimson, who is another mod, just getting straight cooked, just making fun of us, mostly because we're older, like we are ancient, we were friends with the dinosaurs, we were there when time took its first breath and the sun was born. And so, yes, definitely a recurring meme where we get roasted for that, but... Beyond that, there's also an entire section in this chapter directly dedicated to roasting Crimson's hairline, and I am not gonna do that to bro. Like, legitimately, there's like seven different direct quotes about specific insults. Crimson, I won't do you like that. Us old folk gotta stick together. But <laughs> Gravy, come on, man. She's just straight shooting here. But yes, that is also a meme. Um, so yeah, you know, join the Discord, make fun of me, it's one of the high selling points, I suppose. Now, I want to give the absolute biggest shout out to Cravey for putting that lore document together, and also to Turbo, who helped Cravey put that together. Thank you guys so much, this video would not have been possible without you guys, because again, General is an absolute beast. It would be literally impossible to go over everything that happened. So this was a really nice kind of concise highlight of different eras of the channel. Now, that being said, there are still so many things I want to mention, so many like singular moments or just funny conversations or legitimate memes that people made, but it is just impossible to include it all. So instead, I want to point you guys towards where you can get a glimpse of all of these things this server lore channel in the discord i created this for everyone to share their favorite moments and highlights but it quickly became incredibly overwhelming and i couldn't feasibly include everything so please go check this out and continue adding to it because i would love for this channel to be like a museum of everything that happens here and again i apologize that i couldn't include these iconic moments it was just too much but that being said, there is one event I do have to specifically mention just because of how monumental it was. We had our first wedding in this Discord between William, one of my mods, and Polish, one of the members. And yeah, in the photo, it's a doll, but don't read into that. I'm not making any type of commentary. William could find a wife even though he can't beat Elden Ring. Come on. Now, in all seriousness, there are a few other things I want to mention, not about general chat, but the server in general, while we're sitting here talking about it. And again, I'm not going to go into my same spiel that I gave at the beginning of this video, but I am just so thankful for this community. Ever since starting this channel and this Discord, it has been so fun to chat with you guys and interact and theorize and just, you know, all talk about these shared interests that we love. And the first watch party was so much fun. I'm looking forward to doing more of those with you guys and I also want to start some community game nights as well so be on the lookout for that but in particular now let me just briefly mention a few of my favorite spots within the discord and the first just has to be the leaks nights it is so much fun to get to experience this story with you guys in real time we're all reading the manga together as they drop and it's just one of my favorite parts about this entire community and so thank you guys for making that such a fun experience every week and then i of course have to mention the custom curse technique side of the server it's like its own ecosystem over there where people create their own curse techniques and then have tournaments to determine who is the best it is so cool i love how that has sprawled into a life of its own and one of my favorite things to do is to check the comics channel over there because there's an entire channel dedicated to making comics about the custom curse technique tournament and memes and it's just so much fun and then I gotta mention the art gallery again, one of my favorite channels, because we really do have so many freaking talented artists in this community, it blows my mind. So again, be on the lookout for that contest coming soon. 
And last but certainly not least, a massive shout out to all of my mods. You are truly my special. This server would not exist without you. If I up and disappeared, the server would be completely fine. If the mods up and disappeared, we would be done in less than a day. I absolutely guarantee it. Again, the first part of the server where I didn't have any was a wild, wild west with like 200 members. And now we have over 16,000. Like, so please shout out your local mod. Tell them thank you in the comments or in the discord if you see them because they get a lot of flack for enforcing the rules, but they are literally the connective tissue bringing this place together. So thank you guys so much. Anyways, y'all, that's going to do it for this one. I think we have reached over 20 minutes of runtime, which is just crazy. So if you made it this far, thank you. You are a real one. It takes a deep member of the community to watch a 20 minute Discord lore video. So I appreciate y'all so much. And I look forward to the next several eras we will experience together. But anyways, y'all, thank you again, and I'll see you soon.